pole, let's glee, let's hit, let's go. Holy hit, let's go, let's go, let's glee, let's hit, let's go. Holy hit, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's up, beauties? Welcome back to my channel, Holy Hair. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a different method than my previous hand tied extension tutorial video. This method is going to be a little bit easier and a little bit different, um, but with hand tied extensions, there are so many different methods and it just depends on your client's hair type thickness, you know, if they have really fragile, fine hair, um, or if they have thick, coarse hair, it just depends on what method you're going to do and also how many wefts you're putting in and how much length they want, everything like that. So these are all things to take into consideration when choosing what method to do for your hand tied extensions. So I just want to get that out there. Also, as you guys know from my previous video, I am self-taught, so I do not have a hand-tied certification from anyone. I don't call it anything. Um, I don't have special names for these methods. Maybe I'll come up with names in the future, but I'm just kind of sharing with you guys what I've learned just kind of doing this myself in my own experience and what works in my client's hair. Everybody's gonna be different, um, so just keep that in mind while watching this tutorial. Take some notes if you want, you can always rewatch it, and I do recommend, if this is your first time doing this, practicing on a mannequin or maybe some girlfriends that wanna try hand-tied extensions, you know, buy some of the tools and, you know, have that client or person or friend buy the hair and then you just say like hey i'm practicing this new method and do it for free on them so that you can get some practice in and it's nice to practice on real people after you've practiced on mannequins because then they can wear the hair and they can live in them and you can kind of see like what works and what doesn't work. So just like anything in the hair industry, you learn as you go and you can always tweak things next time around. So, so before I get started, I like to kind of set everything up for my client. Um, so this is going to be the weft that we're tying in. It is two wefts two hand tied wefts and these are super long they're 22 inches um, she's really just doing this for fullness and a little bit of length so we're only going to do one row because she has super super fine hair um, we did try two rows on her previously with two wefts on each row and she found that that was just too much hair for her to manage so we discovered that only one row works best for her and we tried the one row and it looked full enough so it ended up actually working like I said everyone's hair is different um, every clients going to be different so just keep that in mind if you watched my previous video I showed you guys that I got a hand tied kit from Jay-Z styles this is the kit it comes with scissors thinning shears the um, bead applicator and it comes with the pliers and then the tool to remove the beads so I got a kit from her. I did not get certified from her, but I purchased her extension kit. I'm going to string the needle and get that set. The hook style needle I got off of Amazon in a 10 pack. I will link that in the description. The yarn I got from Jay-Z Styles and also the beads I got from her as well. But I also use Hotheads beads too. So I have two different kinds of beads that I like to use depending on the client's hair type. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure out some yarn and I'm just like measuring it with my arms and I'm taking two wingspans of yarn. And then I am just going to string this through the needle. And then you're going to meet it at the end. And you're going to take the two ends of the string and you're just going to tie a knot with this end just like this.
All right, so you're gonna have a double string. And then you're just going to set this aside. And then when you get everything set up, you're just gonna wanna have your bead clamping tool, your um, beads, and your um, sewing needle and yarn. And I have Sissy here helping me today. She's gonna be filming for me while I do this tutorial for you guys. Okay, so I've got her sectioned, and as you can see, we have done a horseshoe section that starts a little bit higher on the sides and then swings down low in the back there. And you wanna make sure that you are at least two fingers above her ear. I am three fingers above her ear, so we've got plenty of room there. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our weft and I'm going to place it around her hair and I'm just gonna ask her to hold it for me real quick. And then I'm going to put my little pin curl clips on the edges where each end is. So we're marking where we're going to, you can let go, where we're gonna start and finish the beads. All right, and I am going to be using the blonde beads on her. This is the vanilla, and I already have them on my little bead situation, or bead stringer, whatever this is called. You'll just need a rat tail comb and we're gonna start with the beading. All right, so she has really fine hair, so I'm kind of like tightly gonna have to use the um, beading tool here. So coming up on the first bead, pulling the hair through. Perfect. And then when I'm using my clamping tool, you want to make sure that it's gonna lay flat against her head. So I'm turning, I'm not gonna clamp it here like this, I'm gonna clamp it like this. Okay, so this is what the beads are going to look like when you've got them all put in. You want it to be, um, you want the end to meet up with the end of the hair that's in the bead on either side. All right, so you're going to clip the um, extensions to her hair all around so that it holds secure and then we're going to take our yarn that we already strung through and I'm going to string it through her hair here on the end and you're going to go underneath the hair and then underneath the weft and on this first stitch you're going to go through the um, two strings and that is going to secure the end here. And then whenever you're pulling it tight, you're gonna pull upwards. And I'm gonna do a couple on each side and then I'm gonna go underneath the bead as well.
ends here. I'm just kind of gonna, I went all the way to the end and then I'm going back one stitch just to secure it at the end here so it's really flat. And then all we're gonna do on this end piece here, after we finish our last stitch, is just cut it and then you're gonna take the two pieces of string and you're gonna tie it off on the end.